one of the most intense and fascinating rivalries in the history of science, the conflict between Robert Hooke and Isaac Newton. This rivalry wasn't just about personal animosities, it shaped the course of scientific discovery and left a lasting impact on the world of science. So let's dive deep into the story of Hooke versus Newton. Our story begins in 17th century England, a time of great scientific discovery and intellectual pursuit. Robert Hooke, born in 1635, was a polymath who contributed to a wide range of fields including physics, biology and architecture. He is perhaps best known for Hooke's law which describes the behavior of springs and for his work with microscopes that lead to the discovery of the cell. In 1665, Hooke published Micrographia, a groundbreaking work that detailed his observations through the microscope. This book not only showcased his meticulous observations but also highlighted his innovative thinking. Hooke was also a key member of the Royal Society, an institution at the heart of scientific progress in England. On the other hand, Isaac Newton, born in 1643, was a mathematical genius whose contributions to physics, astronomy and mathematics revolutionized our understanding of the natural world. Newton's law of motion and universal gravitation became the foundation of classical mechanics and his work in optics and calculus further solidified his status as one of the greatest scientists of all time. The rivalry between Hooke and Newton began to take shape in the late 1670s. The initial sparks flew over their different theories on the nature of light and color. Hooke had his own vague theory of light, which he published in his work, but Newton's prism experiments led him to develop a particle theory of light. Their conflicting ideas set the stage for an ongoing feud. In 1672, Newton sent a paper on his theory of light and colors to the Royal Society. Hooke, who was the Society's curator of experiments, was critical of Newton's work. He acknowledged Newton's experiment but disagreed with his conclusions, leading to a heated exchange of letters and a lasting enmity. But the rivalry didn't end there. The most significant clash came with the publication of Newton's Principia Mathematica in 1687. This work laid the foundations for classical mechanics and included Newton's law of universal gravitation. Hooke claimed that he had first suggested the idea of gravitational attraction and accused Newton of plagiarism. Hooke's claim was based on a series of letters exchanged between the two in which Hooke had mentioned the inverse square law. Newton, however, asserted that he had developed the mathematical framework independently. The dispute over credit for the law of gravitation deepened the animosities between them. The conflict reached a point where Newton, who was known for his vindictiveness, sought to erase Hooke's contributions from the scientific record. When Newton became president of the Royal Society in 1703, he allegedly ordered the removal of Hooke's portrait from the society's premises. Some historians believe this was an intentional slight, although there is no definitive proof. Under Newton's leadership, Hooke's legacy suffered. Hooke died in 1703 and Newton's influence ensured that Hooke's contributions were downplayed or overlooked for many years. It wasn't until much later that Hooke began to receive the recognition he deserved for his work. The rivalry between Robert Hooke and Isaac Newton is a powerful reminder of how personal conflicts can shape the course of scientific progress. Both men were brilliant in their own right, yet their inability to reconcile their differences led to a bitter feud that overshadowed their contributions. Alright so guys, so this was the wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.